So we've got Mr. H here. He's uh, 81. He's had a bypass surgery in 2001. He has a left dominant system. And he's had worsening shortness of breath and dyspnea, and has a, it's had a positive uh, nuclear energy study in the anterior, anterior distribution. We uh, cath him in March, and uh, at that point, the, he's had several interventional procedures done by a variety of preceding interventional cardiologists, including one that's related to me. Uh, and um, the, uh, the circumflex is open. It goes all the way down to the left sonnet PDA. Uh, and then uh, there's a vein graft to the right, to the diagonal, which is open. Um, and then the IMA graft, unfortunately, is becoming a tretic, uh, and there's a sort of a 70% lesion in there, but the anterior wall is moving by the ventricular gram. So we tried medical therapy for him, and it's just not working out in terms of relieving his symptoms. He's still having a significant amount of uh, exertional symptoms, specifically uh, dyspnea. And so what we're here today is just to, again, look at the IMA and uh, with the eye towards uh, trying to open it up. Now, it's a relatively small vessel. I'm hoping, though, uh, once we get it open, that it'll, uh, it'll blossom up a bit here. So that's the rationale for the case. Um, all righty. Okay. I'm going to move over and we'll go over to the left. He's going to go to the left as well because the IMA is again coming off of the left. Okay. Let me get the wire right here. Okay. There was a pulse in here. There it is. Okay, so one of the things is to do is they always feel, it looks like from the groin, to be able to remove the drape around if you kind of want to go to a different spot to do stuff. So there we go. Okay, good. Okay, you're going to feel a little stick and a burn here. Uh, a little bit higher would be great. There's the stick. And the burning, burning. Okay. Okay. There's that. Making a good case for the anterior wall uh, stick here this time, am I? Okay, let's go flush it out. Well, we went through here before. So we know we're there. <laughs> and there's a pulse here. This is a very sharp needle, which is nice. So the this is actually the pediatric one that, that John uses. Let me hear the wire. Yeah, the, the thermal kit, they come, uh, there are two types of thermal kits. The one that comes with the angiocath and the one that comes with a straight uh, stainless steel needle. as the one that John is using. So, so it's about the same needle. Or you can have the cath lab by the Arton or the Cook needle. I mean, it's the same. So he's being very gentle. So he had some drip back. He put the wire in. It wasn't going nicely. So he's readjusting. And uh, sometimes to go in further again, pull back. And, uh, and sometimes you're just in the side of the vessel and it's not going to thread. And...
courses with proctorship at uh, my place. I'm always afraid that that's going to happen. <laughs> He's getting there. there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that seems to be... I hate that needle, though. I don't like the needle these <laughs> Because it has a retractor, you don't see the pulsatile flow very well. Mm. There we go. Yeah, he got it. Okay. Thank God. Persistence pays off. Are you doing okay? Sorry, I appreciate your patience with me here. Pressure there. And there we go. Good. Okay. Good. All right. So let me uh, kind of show you. His wrist is actually right here. So I'm a good, probably uh, six, six or seven centimeters above where the wrist is actually. Um, and that's you know what I've learned is, unfortunately, with as as, as folks get a little older, the sometimes you have to move pretty a bit up the wrist to get to a point where the artery doesn't move around. The wire will kind of go through. Um, but that's sort of been Thing I've learned through the years about access in terms of the radial here. It's okay to be up this far. I mean, it'll, uh, you know, you're going to get the band on it and it'll get hemostasis. So, and obviously, that was not the, uh, the, the showcase that we <laughs> had in mind for showing how, how easy it is, but at least I think you saw the good the troubleshooting stuff we go through. Okay. All right, there we go. We probably need, let's go with the Judkins and then we'll push this up to engage. I don't want to, I don't want to negotiate the elbow with this. Yeah. Yeah, I want JR4. What's that? What about, what about your right hand? Is it your right hand's hurting? Oh, because they're giving you medicine through it. It's the heparin medicine. That's what's going on. Yeah, you just gave the heparin, right? That's what's burning. He's, he's wondering why his right hand was bothering him. Yeah. Okay. the catheter here and there's the catheter and then I'm gonna basically take it and see if I can get in and it doesn't really want to go all that easily so so we're gonna get the glide wire yeah. look at that calcium in that artery you can see the cat the cat the uh, catheter ends that's what's going on here I'm just gonna take a picture of this just see, just to show them. Okay. So there's arterial pressure there. Your hand's gonna get a little bit warm here. There. Okay. Yeah. 
Here's the uh, cheater. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to need to do that. Okay. Which wire is this? Yeah, it's, one, it's not the angled one, it's the J one. So what you see there is probably some spasm right there at that at radial angiogram. And then... Uh, so, John, John, what's your next step? You're taking a glide wire? I'm taking a glide wire and see if it'll just get around this. Wire. Glide? Just a glide. Now, the question is, they gave me a U-shaped glide wire, which is not really ahead of mind. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I want to angle glide, please. If this doesn't go, then I'll take like a whisper and go around it. And the key is once you get in the brake, you'll then you change out, go back to your regular wire. Angle glide wire, please. The next step, I'm talking, I'm, yeah. This will go. So I know it takes about 20 of my hand movements to get towards the end of the catheter, but not out of it, which is why I was doing that without fluoring in the interest of sort of decreasing fluoro time. So this is also why I didn't want to use the IMA catheter. I've got a Judkins right going up um, to negotiate the elbow, because you're never sure what you're gonna get into. Okay, now we can get changed back out for the Rosen. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that the, the radial angiogram, I wasn't sure where the catheter ended and where the calcium, and the calcium keeps going, interestingly. So I think the, the issue here with the axis is that this artery has just got calcium up and down it, and it makes it difficult to uh, sometimes get access into it. And this is just, uh, as you say, it's not, there are reasons why people, I, you know, probably uh, five years ago, I would have just given up and gone to the groin. Yeah. I'm sure my cath lab staff is wondering why I didn't do that anyway, but. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't even need to get the aorta because all we're doing is the subclavian to get the IMA. So there we are. We're gonna get around the. Okay. Good. Actually, uh, let's leave the wire in and we'll change this catheter out. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check. In. The heparin went in, right? Heparin's in, so we're going to give uh, check the ACT here.
perseverance. Actually, you know what? We need an ACT. Sorry. Okay, good. There's a 30 REO. Let me have you puff from here, Nikki. Okay, give me a little puff right there. That again. Right in there. Puff that. Uh, okay, puff again. Are you an REO, John? I'm at an REO, 30 REO, yeah. Of that. You're asking why? Yeah, puff that there. Okay. The question is how is it still there or not? Puff that. There. Okay, puff that again. It's just hard to get it to. Engage. Okay, puff. Let's stick one. Let's do a full angiogram here. This arm. Let's just see. A little warmth in your hand there. There it is, right there. Okay, run that. There. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Can you puff again there for me, Nikki? Puff that. This is trying to get it to engage. Again. What we have to do is just try to wire it and see how best we can get, get anything down it. Well, let's take a whisper. Uh, long, because we're going to have to go all the way down the graph. Actually, you know what? Short whisper is fine. Um, a uh, J is fine. That's what we're doing. What's in the room? I mean, <laughs> Yeah. Let's see where we are here. Are we even close to this now? No. Okay. Let me puff it again there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, IMA just does not want to get down this thing, does it? Okay, puff that again. We may need to get a, a, a VB. Is there ACT come back yet, or is it still going? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if this doesn't work, we're going to do is go up size to a six French uh, VB1. Do we have a VB1? We used to. Yeah. 
IMVB, something like that, yeah. That's okay. Sure, well, this is going to go. A little puff there, Nikki. Are you what? I use them down. Let's see. Okay. Puff that again. Very hard. Okay, so it's down there, right? That's down there, yeah. Okay, again, puff that. Okay, so it's right in there. Okay, so if this doesn't go, we'll get the uh, VB. Just trying to figure out how to get this to get close. Okay, let's take the VB. Two seventy seven. Okay. Take that out. I need the rosin. I'll take that guy. Uh yeah, that'd be fine. I really can't hear what you guys are saying. Okay, so we're going to replace the force Okay. It's going to dampen. goes through this artery without giving us too much trouble. God, all these cases. What catheter is that, John? This is a VB1. Just being very gentle with this because this thing can be pretty aggressive. Puff for me here, Nikki. Yeah, puff there. Okay, there it is. There. 
Stuff again. Got it. Puff again. Oh, that was the wrong way. I don't know. Puff. That. Puff that. Puff that. Puff that again. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, it's a VB1. VB1? Yeah. Puff that again. Let's see if we can wire that from there. Puff for me again there. Okay, a little puff all over there. Just does not want to get down there into that IMA, does it? That again. God, just finding that. Yeah, I'm gonna put a sharper bend on this thing and see if I can get it to go. God, there it was, just on the lip of it. All right, do we have a, um, like a PT graphics? Okay. PT graphics. Let me try bending a bend on this. Don't open it yet. But. I don't know if there's... Don't, 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 don't. Short if you have it. Straight's fine, I'll put my own bin on it. Let's see if I can get that to bend around and in. Let me puff there. Jesus, it just does not want to get around into that, does it? that again. It's just got to be a Z component to this that I just don't understand as well as I'd like. Coaxial with the graft at all. It's a problem. Okay, 
puff hat right there. Uh, yeah, I just didn't think it, it would sit in there. Okay. No, that's not going. Let's get a P let's get the PG graphics. Do we have a man IM catheter? A what? A man, M-A-N-N. -N. Yeah, guide, yeah. Guide, I mean, yeah. Well, you probably have to go look for it. You'll probably have to go look for it. Not a, it's not what we commonly use. bear. Can you puff there? Okay. Just trying to figure out why is it so difficult to get this to go in. Let's go down to let's go to a um, go back to straight AP for a minute. I'm seeing something here that I just can't understand. Give me another puff there. Okay. Puff it again. Pull the wire back around. Puff that again. That's fine. Puff it. There. That. Puff it again. The other option is that we take a um, some of a little oomph on the end of it. Let me have that whisper back for just a sec. What you think about a run through, uh, John? Yeah. The other thing I've done in some situations like this is to take a Miracle Brothers and sort of put a like a bend on it because it's got an oomph that doesn't buckle. Um, yeah, I think that floppy tip of the run through would probably track. That's it. the and that's the other way of looking at it. Yeah. You're close.
Okay. Let's open a run-through. You have a run-through wire? Okay, and we have the whisper while she's getting that. Short, ideally. Puff that for me. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go to AP Cranial. Okay, now if you can give me a, a, a puff, that would be great. Let's see if you can see the whole thing here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, zoom out so we can see the guide. You're going to need to go to 25. Thanks. Okay, okay pan down. Uh, there. I think that's definitely in the LED at this point. That there. Okay, so let's take a, a 2012 um, Apex pan up so I can see the guide. Yeah, there, that's fine. Pan, it just, I just want to be able to see the guide in the whole picture here. Monorail, ideally, yeah. Okay, let's take a picture of this right now. Okay, we probably ought to give some nitro in there and just see what that looks like. Can't even get any dye down it. It's great. Are we out of dye? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get the catheter to engage here. No. Okay. Let's see, let's see the corner. Right, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to engage the uh, get the catheter into the into the graft. Puff that. Okay. Let's take a picture of that now. Just really, it's a really hard case. It would be useful. Could you guys bring in the uh, the workstation from out there? I know they won't be able to see it. We can bring up the old angiogram. I can kind of localize where the yeah. What I'm going to do, I think the stenosis is sort of there right before the anastomosis, actually in the IMA graft, sort of around the staples. So I'm going to bring in the old angiogram. I'm just going to line up the balloon where that is. When was that last study done, John? I need to see the images. I need to see the image. Yeah. Okay, if you want to do it in the computer, that'd be fine too. Okay. Let's load up the 2 0 too. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see the image. Next, it's at the end. There. I 
Go go to the next shot. That's the AP current. That's the REO view. Go go back. Okay. That's it. That's the AP current view. Okay. Looking at. Okay, good. All right, two up. So, John, when was the last study before this? Uh, in uh, the end of March. So there was an anastomosis, stenosis? Uh, uh, it was actually in the IMA just before the anastomosis. Ah, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm I was doing I was just looking at the old angiogram to kind of localize where the shot was. Obviously, getting dye down into this is not easy. Pan up so we can see the guide, Mickey. the balloon. Okay, now yeah, pan down. Take some of the cranial off so we can see a little better here. Okay. And that's in around right where the stenosis is. So we're just going to go up there and see what this helps. You can see where the LED sort of would come into the IMA there. So, good, go to six, eight. Can okay, I go to 10? I'm gonna try to see if your guide wins you got the blue net. Okay, come on down at uh, 30 seconds. I'm talking to the folks in the cath lab. Okay, good. Okay. Now, let's go back up here. Give me another. Let's uh, go up again right there. Hey, Daryl. Go to 10. Nice. Okay. See if you can see your, your uh, guide, uh, John. What, what I'm going to do is try to receive the guide, yeah, exactly, yeah. while the balloon's up. It's not a bad idea to pan up, Carol, if you would. Let's see the guide. Okay. Uh, to the guide. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. Let's see if I'll get in there. I have a choice. I really don't want to rip this open if I can help it. Come on down. Yeah. Okay, now let's take the balloon out and see what we got. Balloon that went down pretty easily, though, which is It good. did. That's nice. It's the one thing that's gone well so far. so I can see the corner. I want to see that. No, I don't want to mag up because I want to see the guide. There, perfect. So that's a little better. Um, okay, let's get some nitro in there and see what happens. Thank you. Let's see if I can get this catheter even further down into the corner. back up to the guide. Okay. Still not damping the guide. That's thought that was going to be a big problem for this case. There's 200 mics of nitro. 
That flush. It's interesting, it fills the whole LED. <laughs> Just not very big, is it? Nope. So I guess the question here is do we just, you know, that's with the 200 of nitro, um, is do we just POBA it and hope for the best? I mean, I'm not sure it's standing this is, what are your thoughts about this? So this is at best a two millimeter vessel. You kind of got a residual 50% up there, right, with that. Yeah, yeah. don't you think I should take a balloon back down there and whack on that a little bit, but. Uh, I mean, you could put a 225 stem in there, I think. Yeah. What do you guys think? Still stem with that drug wooden stem. Yeah, I think the nods are for stemming that, John. They are. All right. I mean, you're, doing, you're on a roll right now. Okay. <laughs> I got more. <laughs> uh, all right. Go back to the balloon shots. We sort of ballooned in two spots there, didn't we? We ballooned, uh, you know. Go okay, back one more. Yeah. Okay. You think a 22520 or something? Yeah, like that's that? what I'm thinking. A 2023, 20, something like that. Maybe a 2, whatever. Yeah, let's get a 225, uh, maybe a 24. I kind of hit that two spots there with the, with the uh, 12. What do we have? A 20. Let's go with 20. The question is whether I can deliver a 20 down this corner or not. Any of the. John, it's time for a little optimism here. Yeah. Is a, uh, are the Boston guys in the room who can complain about it? Yeah, they said no problem. It's nice smooth bends on that. I mean, I think here, the point is that, you know, once you got access, this case is, you know, it's going to be just as easy to do from the wrist. I, I it's think it's been very difficult from the from the groin. I, he's got, if you look at the band coming up from that so, some yeah. of that subclavian, it would be almost impossible to try to get any engagement in this corner or into the guide. Into the yeah. guide. Because now the we can just push off that opposite wall if he has to push this down. So. No, B, B, one. Victor Bravo. <laughs> Victor yes. Bihar. Victor Bihar. That's the guy who was an attending at Duke. Oh, really? Yeah. And he came up with a half, it's a half pigtail. And it's very useful. Well, yeah, it's, it's basically a cut-off pigtail catheter that, uh, that Vic used to use as a guide to get in, or as a gra uh, catheter to get into IMA grafts when he couldn't use it, when the Lima wouldn't go. There we are. Let's take a picture of that, Daryl. Okay. That's interesting. There's some foreshortening there. Yeah, so. definitely a lot of foreshortening. The question is, so let's go back to the old picture here, make sure we line this up with where we want it to be. There's a lot of resistance even getting that to go down, though. I think we put a longer stent might have been a bit more interesting. To, to the last, the shot that we had before the stent. Okay, there, yeah. So it's sort of right at where the, uh, it, that comes off of the, it's sort of at, right at the level that's that other stent, the top stent there. Yeah, I think we got it. Do you agree with that? I mean, the question is, is it quite long enough, and should you go down a little bit further? That's what I'm wondering, and then let's see what it looks like. Look right there. Yeah. Think about right that. I kind of like that right there. Okay, let's take a picture of that within there. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah, I think that's better, John, and then you can cover the other one. You could even go down just a little bit further. And then yeah, maybe we should go down to beyond that other, that staple right there, huh? Yeah. 
The rest of it, I think, is okay-ish. Kind of right to there. Perfect. Right there. Okay. Let's go on up there. We're going to go up right there. Hit it. Yeah, just go to nominal. Oh, jeez. Okay. Certainly going to be plump enough, isn't it? Yeah. Then we can measure with that balloon coming back. Exactly. Figure out, figure out what else we need. I don't think an OCT catheter would have gone down here. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Four, 25. 11, 25. Okay, come on down. Okay, we're going to take a picture of this as, uh, as there, after it deflates with the, as a yardstick for the other, to the proximal part of the lesion here. Okay. Okay, let's take a picture of that now. Ready? Yeah. Hit it. Yeah, so that was, was that a 24 stem? It's a 20. 20, okay. Looks like one more. Who am I? So I think one more 20 and then uh, overlap it and be done, huh? Yeah. Would you guys agree with that? Any dissenters? Okay. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's thinning the whole IMA down to the anastomosis is exactly what I had in mind. And it may be with better hyperemia, it may get better. You never know. Um, but I think we got the stenotic area for sure. Okay. And if push comes to shove, we have to always think about, should we just try to figure out how to do a CTO? The prize using this as a retrograde approach, I think, would be almost impossible. Look at that angle off of the IMA. Yeah, it doesn't sound good at all. No, I agree. So I think this was sort of the answer for now. Okay, here we come with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We saved some lunch for you, John. That's, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Did you give me the vegetarian sandwich? Yep. That's great. <laughs> Tofu burger. Yeah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, same thing. Yeah. 225 40, uh, 20. We're going, we, uh, we, we exhausted the last one in this room. No, we're uh, we are using a Promus 225. The one where the shelves are empty. That's what we want. There we go. 20. There's no such animals at 20 right now. We'll take the 24 then. Science? We use both. Uh, our predominant use is uh, Boston. For a system-wide contract, it's a 90-10, either Boston or, uh, or Abbott. Yeah, well, it doesn't make sense anymore. Huh? Somebody else pushes for us. Right. Yeah, we'll I, I kind of just go 50-50. I mean, I, I don't know what, uh, you know, then, you know, I, I, I don't know. I will say we don't have the, the Medtronic guys haven't been around our house in a while. We use Medtronic almost exclusively. Different era, isn't it? But we do have a ridiculously low price, so I guess it works. We don't have what they got in Germany, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they're really good, aren't they? They got $99. Nah. <laughs> 100 Yeah. It's like a ballpoint pen thing? Or <laughs> they just say, yeah, this is what you got to play. <laughs> All right. So it's not the vendors driving the Mercedes, huh? No. I think that's in there. Do we have our Sync RX? Do we have it in this room? No. no. no yeah, it's, it's just there. in the other room. 
Looks good though, Joe. I think it looks pretty good. Let's take a picture of it. Get it. Good. I think that's going to do it, huh? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think the proximal aspect of that looks pretty good. Okay, let's uh, go on up there. Conjunction, junction. What to function? We got 25. Come down. We'll go hit the conjunction with this, uh, with the balloon, and then uh, pull out and see what we got. Hopefully. 11:25. Hope. It's getting close to Miller time. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of foreshortening there, isn't there? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I did. But let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. John, that's beautiful. I think, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't think we need to post dilate that, do you? I think it would be a big error. The heart risk benefit ratio is not good here. <laughs> right. Okay. So, a hey, tremendous tenacity. That yeah. was just great. Okay. Well, hopefully, this, this, you know, with better flow, it may remodel a little bit to it gets uh, more flow down. It certainly is bigger than when we started, I think. Um, but, at any rate, let's pull the wire out and see what we got. So we're going to... Uh, yeah, you go ahead and break away, way, unless so, you guys yeah. want to see the TR band, but I think you've seen that once already, so... Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're already out of the corner again. Yeah, yeah I already pushed it. There we go. Okay. All right. And the big risk with these cases is dissecting that proximal lemma. I mean, it's so easy to do. I think it looks okay. It's not, I mean, I just don't want to re-engage it. I think that's not worth the risk. Okay. Okay, we'll see you up here in a little We'll while. see you up in a minute, yeah. Okay.